Senator, uh, you and, and President Bush have often referred to yourselves as being compassionate conservatives. My question arises on the matter of embryonic stem cell research. There are many people today in our state who have Parkinson's disease, who have Alzheimer's disease, who have Lou Gehrig's disease, who just might be helped by federal funding for embryonic stem cell research. Why is it that you have consistently, along with President Bush, been against any federal funding for embryonic stem cell research? Is that compassionate? For me, it's a matter of a principle. I'll tell you what I believe. I believe we're dealing with a human life. And I think the question that is posed is, should federal tax dollars be used to destroy human life? My answer has to be no. Uh, I have in my office received literally dozens of parents who have brought 5-year-old, um, 10-year-old, 12-year-old children who have juvenile diabetes um, in to see me to talk about funding for National Institutes of Health, where this government has fallen far short. Um, to, to fulfill, and also embryonic stem cell research. And juvenile diabetes is believed by most scientists to, be, to be the, the disease that is, is most curable um, by, embryo, by, by embryonic stem cell research. And I think if, if we really support life, if we really care about, um, cure, about a cure for so many of these diseases that, have, that afflict Republicans and Democrats and old people and young people alike, that, that we need to give scientists to open every door for scientists so they can walk through every single door, whether it's adult stem cell research or embryonic stem cell research, and have those opportunities to, cu to cure our children, to cure our parents, and to cu cure our brothers and sisters.